I had a comment yesterday off a chap called Michael, and he mentioned how well my paper pinning tray had lasted. And to be honest, it, it has done the trick. So I thought, no, it's time to upgrade. I looked at the prices of pinning trays, and they're ridiculous. So I thought, right, I'm going to make one. As always, I've made one out of scrap. This time, scrap DVD cases. Now, these was going down the tip. Well, who wouldn't take that to the tip anyway? So what I've done is I've got myself some cases, and it's, this is dead simple. All you have to do to do this is just, first of all, get your case, throw the DVD out, rip the plastic off the back. It comes off dead easy. Just tear it off like so. And there you go. Now, once you've got to that stage, I mean, that was hard, wasn't it? I hope you're following me, ripping that plastic off. The next bit is to take this top piece off. You don't even need to cut it because it's it's folded. If you get that piece there, break it, just pull it, it'll, it'll break straight off like that. So that's your base of the tray. So what I did with mine is I kept that piece up, I folded it up, and on that corner there, and that corner there, I'll just put a bit of glue. So that keeps the tray in one piece. So once you've done that, get yourself another case. Good looking at that MP. Right, get yourself another case, and all you need to do with this case is cut out a patch. Cut the pieces off flush there, and then your depth, I've gone for about, I think I went for about 80, 90 mil, but it's entirely up to you how deep you want to do it. The beauty of doing this as well is you can obviously use all different colours. So if you're a Man United fan, go for red and white. If you support Birmingham like me, go for blue and white. But unfortunately, I couldn't find a blue case. So I've gone for black and white. Not that I support Newcastle, but anyway. So once you've done that, you're left with that. Like I say, that piece moves in and out. So you can change the colour and do whatever you want with that. So once you've got that, you need to decide where you want to put your marks. Now, that's how I've done mine. I've laid them out like that. Some people might just want to put a straight cut in it. To do the cutting, it's pretty easy. First of all, what you want to do is drill some holes. I'll use the four mil drill. So I just drilled, I'll use a marker pin. I'll show you what I mean. So what I did is I just drilled an hole, say there for instance, and then drilled an hole underneath. And then with the bit in the middle, two four mil holes with a bit in the middle I've just got a Stanley blade and cut it out and it cuts dead easy and I just cut that nick out and obviously I did the same with all the other bits as you can see there and all your things fitting nicely with your pins and your springs once you've done that you can if you want cut a square patch out like I have that's just for your circlip and whatnot uh, to do that though you obviously need a little dremel or you need a coping saw or something. What I did is I marked my square patch. I'll just show you roughly. I marked my square patch where I wanted it. And then I drilled an hole. Then I threaded my coping saw through that hole. And then I just cut the square patch out. Dead simple. If you've got a little Dremel, it'll be even easier. So that's it. So once you've done that, you don't need to glue that on. Once you've done that, slot that on. And like I say, if you get bored of that colour, throw that off. Put yourself a yellow one in. Do whatever you want. Dead easy to make. Cheap as chips. Saves you a fortune. So that's mine complete. I'm just waiting for a blue case because I want blue and white, I do. So once I've got a blue case, I'll be happy with that. So that's it. In a nutshell, what I've done is I've made myself a pinning tray. Cost me bugger all. I've saved the planet by not throwing this plastic down the recycle tip. Prince of Bel-Air. Remember him? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Anyway, yeah, that's it. So... Thanks for watching. As always, if you do like the video, please subscribe and uh, I'll come up with someone else next time. Try a bit.